this film is, is universally loathed, it seems to me, and uh, I've never quite understood that because uh, for me it's, it's a fascinating exploration of um, uh, male behaviour in an intense situation. It's, it's literally a descent into hell over one evening. Um, so with the exploration of uh, male violence, which seems to be a very central part of this film, um, it's interesting that um, um, the, the, the men are actually very much disempowered, uh, that, that they're uh, also almost victims in, in some ways, they're victims of their circumstance, uh, that, that the misandry within the film kind of belies this, this uh, idea that it's actually deeply misogynist, I find. The whole theme of um, irreversible, which is reversible, it seems, uh, from, from the construction of the film, which is uh, a backward storytelling technique. Um, our opening scene is, in fact, the actual end credits, and uh, even the end credits are, are already disorientating because we see uh, uh, the credit roll and it just slowly tilts on the screen, and you can want to lean over it, but you can't, and uh, the title itself comes up at a 45 degree angle and then pan straight into these pumping uh, uh, credits which are strobing and it's actually very, very alarming. And I'm not too sure where, where the reality or the dream begins or ends and there's also an odd Kubrick theme which occurs. Um, uh, the girl thinks she's pregnant, she has she does a little home test and um, and laughs when she sees the results. We don't see the results, we don't know the results. Um, we, we see a poster for Kubrick's 2000 uh, and one space odyssey and the, 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 uh, the title at the top, the, the, the tagline is the ultimate trip and we just see this um, huge enlarged image of the space or star child, space baby. And uh, um, it, it, it's almost this, well, is, she, is, this the, is, is this playing into her dreams as well? Did she imagine she's pregnant? Uh, whether we're actually looking into space or perhaps the, the source of life, it's never really explained. But this whole idea of birth, death and rebirth uh, is almost again being explored before Enter the Void, the next film, where actually, actually this actually happens, that the person dies and is ultimately reborn again. And so this, um, this whole limbo... Uh, place which is, is very dreamlike. Um, it seems to be one and the same thing for me. <laughs> Suddenly, life is written that fate is already there, and we don't know whether this is just you know all the things that unfold are really just her imagination uh, that the fate she imagined may be there, um, or whether it's actually she's actually had a premonition and all these things are unfolding um, as her worst fears might be. So we, we never quite find this out, and it, it's one of the reasons I find the film so fascinating is that I've watched it several times now, probably in fact about 15 times, if not more, and I still don't really know what's going on there. And for that reason, you know, I always champion this film.